Insider Stephen Holder and columnist Greg Doyle discuss another second half let down by the Idiopolis Colts. Clark Wade forward slash Indistar Idiopolis Colts tight end Brandon Williams is tended to by the Colts medical staff in the first half of their game against the Denver Broncos at Lucas Oil Stadium Thursday, December 14, 2017. Photo, Matt Critcher forward slash Indistar, by photo. Idiopolis The Brandon Williams video is shocking. Violence, velocity, brutality not there, any of it and I think that's what makes the video so terrifying. Nothing happened, nothing unusual, nothing that doesn't happen scores of times, hundreds of times, in an NFL game. The Idiopolis Colts are punting. Williams, a reserve tight end, is lined up on the left edge. Across the line of scrimmage from him is 6-5, to 253-pound Denver Broncos linebacker Diata A. Mount. The ball is snapped and here comes Mount, taking five choppy steps before reaching the 6-3, to 260-pound Williams. They butt heads like two mountain goats, the foreheads of their helmets colliding, and if I'm making it sound awful, I'm doing this wrong. Because it wasn't awful. It wasn't anything. Williams falls backward, with Mount clinging to his jersey as they go down together. Mount gets up Williams does not. The Brandon Williams video ends the same way every time, and I must have watched it 40 times on a loop, over and over and over, looking for something at the beginning of the video that might explain what we saw at the end, Williams being strapped to a board. Helmet still on, face mask removed with a screwdriver. A cadre of 12 or more medical personnel fussing tenderly over Williams at midfield of the Colts 25-30 loss Thursday to the Denver Broncos. Williams being loaded onto a cart and driven off the field, out of the stadium and into a waiting ambulance. A link has been posted to your Facebook feed. Coming 10 days after Pittsburgh Steelers linebacker Ryan Shazier was strapped to a board and carted off the field in Sashiati with a grotesque-looking injury that required spine stabilizatio surgery, this was the worst-case scenario of a Thursday night football game that didn't seem to have a worst-case scenario. Colts and Broncos Both already had been eliminated from the playoffs before kickoff. Not sure about the fans in Denver, but around here the worst-case scenario coming into the game might well have been a Colts victory, one that would have moved them farther away from the no. One overall pick in the 2018 NFL Draft. The Colts were never a threat to get that pick, but a string of losses to close the season would put them safely in the top five. Doesn't seem so important now, does it? Does anything about the Colts seem important now, anything other than the health of Brandon Williams? That feeling will pass, of course, perhaps before all of us finish this story. Not trying to be remorseless, just real, and the reality is this, we'll get over the sight of Brandon Williams lying on the board, staring up into the ceiling, blinking against the lights at Lucas Oil Stadium. We'll get over the sight of Colts safeties Darius Butler and Matt Tyers Farley leaving the sideline to say something to Brandon on his way to the locker room, followed by tight end Jack Doyle, then followed by the entire team.